Hey guys, let me give you a quick explanation of wrapped Bitcoin. If you ever look at the wrapped Bitcoin price, you'll see that it's always the exact same as real Bitcoin. That's because for every single wrapped Bitcoin, there's a real Bitcoin somewhere backing it up. How this works is you find a service providing wrapped Bitcoin, and then you send them your real Bitcoin. It doesn't have to be a full Bitcoin, it can be whatever part of a Bitcoin that you have. Let's say 0.05 Bitcoin. You can send 0.05 Bitcoin and get 0.05 wrapped Bitcoin. So you send them your Bitcoin and then they put it into their holdings and then they use blockchain magic to mint the exact equivalent amount of wrapped Bitcoin and they'll give it to you. Then they keep your Bitcoin that you sent them safe and secure to the side for the whole time that you're using your wrapped Bitcoin. If you want that original real Bitcoin back, then you'll send your wrapped Bitcoin back to them and then they will burn it so that it doesn't exist anymore and send you back your original Bitcoin. This ensures that all wrapped Bitcoin is backed by real Bitcoin. But if that's all wrapped Bitcoin was, then there would be no point, right? So what is wrapped Bitcoin used for? The wrapped Bitcoin token you receive is compatible for use on other blockchains, mainly Ethereum, which means it's an ERC token. This is because Bitcoin and most cryptocurrencies run on their own chain. So Bitcoin's chain is separate from Ethereum's chain. If you know about Ethereum, you know that its smart contract capability allows for further uses, namely DeFi. But because Ethereum is one chain and Bitcoin is another chain, there's no way to directly use your Bitcoin in Ethereum services like DeFi. That's why you would send your real Bitcoin and get it wrapped so that you have a compatible token that you can use in DeFi backed by your Bitcoin. And this way you can use your Bitcoin in DeFi ecosystems, whether you want to provide liquidity and get staking rewards, or you want to use it as collateral for a loan. It basically makes it so that if Bitcoin is your preferred cryptocurrency, but you would also like to partake in some benefits of DeFi, then you're able to do so. Astute observers of what I've just explained might question if wrapped Bitcoin is safe, which is a very valid inquiry. So there are a few different mechanisms in place to try ensuring the safety of wrapped Bitcoin. One of them is that wrapped Bitcoin is audited by third-party auditors often, which means that if this is the safe of the wrapped Bitcoin service provider, then occasionally third parties come and look through their books, see how many wrapped Bitcoins they've sent out, and then take a look into their safe to make sure that they have the exact amount of Bitcoin accounting for all of the existing wrapped Bitcoin, and that their mechanisms have burnt whatever Bitcoin was withdrawn and should no longer be in the wrapped Bitcoin circulation. Furthermore, wrapped Bitcoin does retain the crypto concept of decentralization by being governed by a DAO and smart contracts. So the general process of wrapping the Bitcoins is already automated through smart contracts, and then any uh, other additional decisions are made through a DAO, which is a decentralized autonomous organization, which means that it's random people from around the world who are contributing to the DAO to help make, to help vote on decisions and make sure that there's no one person or party with too much power to exploit the system. However, even with all of these systems in place to try to maintain security and decentralization, it is good to consider the basic concept that added complexity generally takes away from security. With wrapped Bitcoin, you are relying on the process not only of Bitcoin's blockchain, but also the blockchain of Ethereum, and you are also specifically relying on the smart contracts and the service that provides the wrapped Bitcoin. So there's added layers of complexity, which means naturally it's not going to be quite as secure as just holding the basic real Bitcoin in your wallet. The takeaway here is that if you know about Bitcoin and you believe in it and you just want to hold on to Bitcoin, then there's really absolutely no reason you would get wrapped Bitcoin. The purpose of wrapped Bitcoin is that it essentially allows you to, in concept, basically still hold your Bitcoin but also be able to participate in DeFi and the benefits therein. So if you're not into those, just hold on to your Bitcoin. 
However, if Bitcoin is your preferred cryptocurrency for holding, but you also want to get into some of the benefits of DeFi, then wrapped Bitcoin is worth considering. It's definitely more secure than a lot of the other crypto options out there. So while wrapped Bitcoin may not actually be wrapped, it is a gift to DeFi, as it accounts for a significant percentage of the liquidity among some of the top DeFi protocols. And if you're somebody who prefers to hold Bitcoin but also participate in DeFi, it may be a gift to you as well. Anyway, overall, wrapped Bitcoin is pretty straightforward, and so I won't go on over explaining it. I'll stop here. If you enjoyed this explanation, please remember to give the video a like, comment something, share it with your friends, and if you feel like it, even subscribe to the channel. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.